today I have another business tip for you. Last video I talked about how I use the Shopify platform for my e-commerce, my website, my business. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how I use my own website through domain.com and connected my Shopify store to domain.com. Now Shopify has instructions on how to integrate a pre-existing domain address to your Shopify store and it works really well if you have something from Google, from GoDaddy, from one and one from Ions, but if you have what they consider to be a third party domain source like domain.com, you have to input things manually. Today I'm going to share with you how you do that on domain.com and how to get it to sync with Shopify. All right guys, let's just jump right on in. There are a few different ways in which Shopify can integrate your domain address into their platform. They suggest that you go through Google domains or GoDaddy or one on one or Ions so that they can automatically just pull it in. It's super easy. They have contracts and it just works out best for them. I personally have always used domain.com to buy my domain addresses. That's just the platform that I've chosen to use. And so you have to add in the settings manually in order to connect your domain address to your Shopify store. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to link this page in the description, but there is a page with instructions on how to connect the third party domain to your Shopify manually. Now there are many things in this page that may seem daunting or confusing, but I'm gonna walk you through and it shouldn't be too scary. So the first step is, is before you begin, go ahead and go to your third party domain host and you need to change some DNS records. Now this may seem like complete jibber jabber and you have no idea what a DNS record is, that's okay. Let me just say that if you need to contact them directly, they were very helpful to me, both domain.com and Shopify to help me get the instructions that I need and they were able to help me with this task. If you wanna do it completely manually, you can do that as well. So let's do it manually and then you can call if you need extra help, but this is how you do it really fast. The first thing they ask you to do is change the DNS record in your third party domain provider. The first record that we're going to change is the A record. I'm gonna go over here to mydomain.com and on your domain.com on the left hand side, there is a place called DNS and name servers. Click on that and you will have three different tabs. We're only gonna be dealing with the first two tabs. The first one you wanna look at is your name servers. These should be auto-populated in your domain.com name servers, but just to check to see if they exist. Pause the video if you need to add them, but there should be the ns2 and the ns1.domain.com, and if you need to add them, just click on add name servers, and then you can add them here. Where we are gonna spend most of our time is in the DNS records. So this page may look completely daunting, but just bear with me, it's not that scary. There are three records in which we need to add. We need to add these three records right here. This is the A record, the at, the A record at www, and the A record at asterisk. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be filling them in with Shopify's web platform's IP, which is 23.227.38.65. The way in which you do that is you would click on add DNS record and then you would click on the name, the type, let's say it's an egg record, we're going to type in the IP address. This is what your first A record should look like. You got your A record which is here, you got your at symbol and then your IP address 23.227.38.65. You do not need to add anything to time to live, that will just happen automatically and the priority is in A. Because my record already exists, I can't add it, but this is where you just had add DNS. So you would do that for the A record, do it for the www record, and do it for the asterisk record. So you wanna make sure that you have all three records. Once you have those three records, the next thing you wanna do is go to the second one, which is the C name record. Now, according to Shopify, you wanna just make this, you have a single record to input, you wanna be www at shops.myshopify.com back over to domain.com. Again, you just click on add DNS record, put CNAME www shops.myshopify.com, click save, and everything else is happy. Now, this will take a couple of hours to propagate, but once it does propagate, here's what we do. Come over to your Shopify store, and in the settings tab, there is on the left a place called domains. 
This is where you would connect an existing domain. So we would type in TennesseeRoughCuts.com, click Next. Mine is already connected, so it would just go through this process where it says checking, verify. Mine took about 18 hours for it to propagate, but after it did, it verified the address. And then when I actually click on TennesseeRoughCuts.com, it brings me to my real website. And it says TennesseeRoughCuts.com and not like Shopify.shops.TennesseeRoughCuts.com because this is my IP address. If you have any trouble getting your records in place or it just seems daunting, call domain.com. They do this all the time. They will happily help you get your records in place. But I found it a little daunting, a little confusing to start off with because the instructions weren't super clear on how to actually get everything connected and it wasn't propagating properly. But like I said, you got four records to input. It's not that scary. If you have any trouble, just pause the video, go back call domain.com and they'll be able to get you fixed up. Well, there you have it, my friends. Hopefully that was helpful on how to connect your domain.com web address to your Shopify store so that you can have your custom domain there connected, present and ready for more business. Again, I just want to say don't be concerned if it doesn't happen right away. It took mine about 18 hours to propagate fully in order for the sync to happen. If it takes more than 24 hours, I would give domain.com a call and make sure that all of your records that you inputted are correct and just check everything over once again. If this makes sense to you and you're able to get your domain address to connect with your Shopify store, congratulations. You are just one step closer to creating your online business. I'm proud of you and link your website down in the description. I would love to see what you guys have come up with, your web addresses, your web platforms, and see what you come up with. But thank you so much for joining in today, and hopefully it was helpful. I'll have to catch you next time.